Three different ways to screenshot on the iPhone 14 and 14 series devices. Welcome to one ahead of smartphones tutorial videos. In this video, I'll be showing you guys three different ways of how to screenshot on the iPhone 14, iPhone 14 Pro, and the Pro Max. I'll be showing you guys three, di uh, three different ways. And for those of you that are not quite sure uh, what a screenshot is, it's just a screen capture. It takes a picture of the device. Let's say you are searching the web and you found some kind of recipe or whatever it is you are looking for. You wanted to share it with somebody. All you got to do is just screenshot the, if it's a photo or image or a recipe, whatever it is. Uh, you, all you got to do is screenshot it and you can share it with them, save it, stuff like that. You all are able then to go back later and open that link if you needed to. But the way to screenshot it, the first way that I'll be showing you guys to do is just going to be using the physical buttons. I'll be, I'll be using the volume up button over here and the side button over here. And the way it works is hit them simultaneously, just a quick press together, and then you let go of them. And just like that, you guys saw the white screen go. And then right down here, we saw a little image showing us that we have a... Uh, photo taken. So right now I'm going to go into photos. As you guys can see, I currently have just one photo and that is the one that I just did, took a screenshot of. And just like that, that is the first method, the by far one of, you know, the easiest one. Um, the second one that I'll be showing you guys is going to be using a feature called back tap. Um, it's a little shortcut. You'll be able to back on uh, tap on the back of your device and get a screenshot. This one does take a little bit of practice and a little, get, a little bit of getting used to, but it is there in case you want to do it. So the way to do that is we're going to start off by going into settings. Uh, from settings, we're going to go, go ahead and scroll down into accessibility. Uh, once we are in accessibility, we will go to touch. From touch, we're going to go ahead and scroll down until you see on the bottom back tap. Once we are in back tap, you see a double tap. There is a triple tap. Um, I currently have flashlight set for double tap. Let's go ahead and just change this. I uh, went, went ahead and selected that. You might not have anything set up, but go ahead and scroll down. And once you find a screenshot, you are able then to do that. And the way this works is just tap the back. And you guys were able to see, I did a little two tap on the back. Phone went white. Screenshot popped up here on the bottom left hand corner. So with that in, I'll, I'm going to go back into photos, back out of my uh, photos. You can currently see I have two photos there now, both taken today, and both are screenshots. So that is the second way to do it. And the third and final way that I will be showing you guys how to do it is by using the assistive touch. Um, with the way to get there is by going into settings, and we will be... I'll go ahead and start this from the beginning. So we're going into settings. From settings, we will also be going into accessibility. From accessibility, we will be going back in, into touch. And then right here, we have assistive touch. Go ahead, select that, and turn it on. Now that we have it on, we saw this little logo, a little icon pop pop up down here. Um, we will want to start off by customizing top level menu. Um, and the reason why, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. We currently do not have screenshot set here on our um, assistive touch menu. So we're going to go ahead and um, customize the top level menu. Select that. Um, let's say you are at six icons. Um, it, all you got to do is hit the plus button. It gives you the option to add another icon. So go ahead and hit plus there as well. Once you're on this screen, go ahead and scroll down till you find screenshot. So just like that, we have that set. We're going to go ahead, select done. That pops up there and we are able to then screenshot. So let's say you're browsing the web and you come across this useful information and you want to screenshot it. All you got to do is just hit the little circle that appears, little transparent circle, um, and then hit the screenshot button. Just like that, the little transparent circle disappears. It takes a screenshot and that is the way to do it. So I'm just going to go ahead, go into photos here. And now you guys see there are three different ways that I took a screenshot uh, on the iPhone 14. Um, if you guys wanted a fourth way, you might want to ask Siri. That might be the simplest and easiest way to do that. But those are the three ways that I'm covering. The fourth way um, is by asking Siri if you have that um, activated. I currently don't. So I just went ahead and showed these three different methods. So hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you know somebody who might be looking for this information or might find it creative or helpful, be sure to share it with them. And thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys uh, like the video. See you in the next one.